in this class we are going to cover following topics we are going to visit this link that is cloud.oracle.com then we are going to provide our tenancy name or the oracle cloud account name which we got when we created our oracle cloud free account in our previous class then we are going to provide username and password then we are going to sign into oracle cloud console now we'll go to our browser and continue from there i am here in the documentation page by oracle on oracle cloud infrastructure documentation and in the table of content on the left hand side there is the option for signing into console under getting started if you click on this you will get more details on signing into the console here is the list of supported browsers like google chrome safari and firefox are currently supported and firefox is not supported currently in private browsing mode so coming to the steps we can sign into oracle cloud with the help of this link that is cloud.oracle.com just we need the oracle cloud name in a class 2 we had seen in detail how to create an account in our case the cloud account name was venom apps like what you see over here when you create the account it will be shown over here on the left side cloud account name also you will receive an email with the tenancy or the cloud account name you can make use of that now i will click on this hyperlink on clicking on the hyperlink it will open a page for signing in here you have to provide the cloud account name and click on next and in the sign in page it is asking for single sign on and in the identity provider it is showing identity cloud service now if you check on the documentation that is sign in options when your account is created so the username will be created in both the sites one is in identity and access management service under oci and also in the oracle identity cloud service so by default the first user is created as an admin for that particular tenancy so if you are planning to change a password in identity cloud service then that change won't reflect in iam you have to manually change your passwords in both the services as those are not synced those are synced only at the time of creating your account post that you it is your job you have to make sure you change the passwords separately in both the systems as it says over here although the credentials are identical in both the systems when your account is created the users are in separate identity management system and you manage them separately if you change your password in oracle cloud infrastructure iam your password in idcs is not changed and conversely now if you want to make use of iam service then you can click on this option that is direct sign in and you can provide the username and password so i will click on this identity cloud service as of now now here i will provide my username and password and click on sign in i have provided the username and password and now i am clicking on sign in on clicking on the sign in button you will land in oracle cloud console and it will land you in getting started page you can switch over to dashboard as well from here and also you can click on the hamburger menu on the left top corner and you can look for the services what you are trying to learn or trying to implement the solution with like for example if i am a functions developer then i will go to developer services then click on functions yeah following those steps we can sign into our oracle cloud account